want to join the network of facilitators because I think it would give me a good chance to help safeguard the intangible cultural heritage in my country. There are a lot of indigenous communities that really need this awareness and together with this network, we could really um, help build good networks and collaborations. And I'm very excited to be part of the ICH Facilitators Network because it gives me a great opportunity to learn from my peers and to experience what they are experiencing in their own spheres. And in the process, uh, safeguard my intangible heritage, which I'm very proud of. The Global Network of Facilitators is a great opportunity for me to expand my knowledge about intangible cultural heritage and the objectives of the convention and help to implement the objective at the country level for safeguarding the intangible cultural uh, heritage of my country and to take part in the international activities at the global and international level. So uh, I am very glad to be a member of this global network. In Nepal, there are so many community-based people, indigenous people, non-indigenous people, they have their own culture, language, and many things. I, I want to do inventory and many works based on those indigenous communities of Nepal. Uh, the values of SAH belong to their community, but for the old human camp, we have the appreciation and the responsibility to keep old living heritage passed down to our future generations. So that's why we need a framework for scholars and the sick garden workers to work together because Besides the diversity of colorful ICH, we have much more in common to be shared, to be learned, to be understand. All those things in common for those facilitators to come with to different communities, I think is the beacon and the flint for the local communities to understand better and deeper to their ICH elements, therefore can protect and preserve those ICH better to our descendants. The role of the facilitators are very important in the implementation of UNESCO 2003 Convention. Uh, people and community and decision makers of the state parties, they get the understanding and knowledge of the implementation of Convention and its operational directives to facilitators, so I'm very glad to be attending in the Global Facilitators Workshop and I hope the knowledge and experience get from this workshop will expand my uh, future contribution to the UNESCO 2002 Convention implementation, not only in my state party Mongolia, but us in the whole world. Thank you. So being as a UNESCO facilitator will allow me to integrate the tangible and intangible cultural heritage together uh, to enhance the management as well as to implement the convention at the local level. I think being part of the facilitator network will give me the opportunity to learn and share the power of investing in culture, the importance of safeguarding for sustainable development. I'm here to join the facilitator networks because I truly believe that through the implementation of this 2003 convention will promote the sustainability and multicultural of the human being. Thank you. Uh, there are many reasons uh, which uh, makes me feel uh, very excited about this uh, joining to the facilitators network. And uh, I would like to mention two of them. Uh, first of all, I would like to enhance my knowledge and skills. And uh, the second uh, is uh, my desire through this advanced knowledge uh, to help uh, the Central Asian countries to safeguard their living heritage. So I wanted to be, I was really interested in being part of this uh, network of global facilitators on the 2003 convention because I wanted to improve my uh, skills and in facilitation uh, to create more awareness about the 2003 convention and about safeguarding um, intangible cultural heritage. 
uh, and I see that there is a huge advantage of being a part of a network of facilitators, a global network, because you learn about how um, my my colleagues have been implementing different st strategies uh, in the, in their respective countries. So there's a lot of co-learning and co-creation happening uh, and taking place and looking at how we can collectively um, save our shared heritage. I want to be the part of this uh, training for trainers uh, because I want to learn the practicalities of uh, implementing 2003 Convention, that, uh, the thing that we might face when we go to the field. And being the part of this global network is like, uh, uh, in the future, I, mean, I want to have like, uh, the country, the countries and state parties and communities in implementing 2003 Convention and safeguarding of the intangible cultural heritage. Um, this Russia actually creates a great opportunity to, for me to collaborate and also communicate with other representatives and uh, facilitators in the regions. Uh, it's so great that I'm not only able to implement the convention at my country, but also in other countries in the region. And this is a great opportunity for me to join. I'm great that i uh, taking part of this workshop because through the workshop I met really a lot of like-minded people and then we share the passion of safeguarding ICH and I believe together we could make some changes and make things better, really. With this workshop I got to learn about the practical ways of conducting the workshop and also like uh, the nitty-gritty of the workshop, like what we need to do ahead who we need to invite and how like uh, we need to know about the country before and the elements and all those sort of things. Firstly, I learned a lot. I socialize with different country facilitators. Secondly, I could make networking and learn something related to technology. And thirdly, uh, even we could make a small uh, work plan, how to work going back to our own country, and if possible, how to link. A big takeaway for me was being conscious of fluidity of perspectives. I've learned from this workshop how to create safe space for dialogue and exchange of contradictory ideas and opinions in a multicultural setting. I feel that this was a very enriching experience as a facilitator to learn about diverse cultures, to meet the people from varying backgrounds and learn a lot about you know, ICA, safeguarding methods and techniques and a huge opportunity for networking. Five days training of trainers in the intergenerational cultural heritage was really fruitful and insightful for me and it gave, gave us all like different experiences and networking and even like sharing and discussing uh, through the implementation of 2003 convention itself and we also see our place where like our next future uh, tasks of the new facilitators to be focused and addressed on we got it so looking back at this training um, it's been really exciting to see uh, so many people from diverse backgrounds and networking with them and learning so many key concepts that we'll be utilizing in our work forward and i uh, really hope that i can take forward the concepts the principles of the convention and i can implement it back in my home country this has been a great experience because it's helped, this training's helped develop a, a greater understanding of the 2003 convention and I also felt that sometimes while working in the development sector we get so overwhelmed by the challenges we face um, and it's it's been so good to hear and inspiring to hear uh, successful case studies from colleagues and how they've been implementing um, uh, you know different projects that support ICH safeguarding uh, in their context and because it's is a regional workshop um, one can relate to the challenges that uh, we all have and to overcome them is really really motivational so I hope that we keep learning from one another and keep exchanging through this network. It, uh, I believe it has been a very effective workshop uh, in, in many senses. Uh, first of all, in terms of uh, upgrading our knowledge and skills, uh, understanding uh, the cultural situation in different countries, uh, connecting to facilitators uh, from 
various places uh, and uh, just uh, having uh, enjoyment uh, of the place uh, and uh, huge uh, hospitality and very well done organization. I would like to thank the organizer of this uh, training for trainers. In this training camp, we have a great opportunity to understand the big picture, the whole landscape of the 2003 convention. And uh, also in this training program, we understand our colleagues from different countries and different cultural backgrounds better uh, to build up a mutual understanding and mutual respect. And uh, uh, last but not least, uh, I gain friendship around different countries from, my, uh, from our colleagues of ICH. In the TOT workshops for the facilitators, I met uh, new friends and colleagues from uh, countries of Asia Pacific region and category 2 centers. And it was a great opportunity for me to expand my knowledge uh, in the convention. And um, for uh, it was actually a good opportunity for networking, for um, developing the relationships, for expanding uh, relationships and uh, to take part in uh, further activities to implement uh, the objective of the Convention at the regional and international levels. From this workshop, I also got new friends, many, many new friends who are experts in um, different fields. And also, I got many new ideas and techniques uh, for facilitation um, of workshops related to intangible cultural heritage. Happy 20th anniversary!